Hey everybody, today we're just going to talk about an oil change on the R50 2003. I bought this car with 112,000 miles on it and it's 116 on it and now the oil looks terrible so I'm going to go ahead and replace it. I wanted to give you a couple of key tips here. If you're trying to do this yourself um, on an older car like myself, like this one here, uh, a couple of things you need to know. First of all, you don't need to take off the bumper, which I have done. I'm working on something else here. Um, you just need a few tools to get this oil cap off. So basically, I watched another video. The guy put a, uh, a breaker bar on there uh, on the uh, cap of the oil cap and uh, wrenched that off. I used a large crescent wrench, which I did not leave handy. I thought I did. A large crescent wrench uh, will do it. You just need to put some grip on it. And actually, I, it did take about uh, a couple hours to let the uh, thread um, ripper type uh, lubricant to set in and so I can get it off. So that was the big part. And then also the oil filter that came off of this vehicle looks terrible. It's all chewed up because I had to pry it off basically. Um, so a pair of vice grip or a channel lock didn't do the trick. Honestly, I took a screwdriver and let me show you here real quick. Stay with me. This is actually worthwhile. If you haven't done an oil change on this car in a while, you'll probably end up in the same situation. But basically it was in there pretty good. And I just took a screwdriver, pried in and up and popped it out. And that actually worked really well. Um, so for all those trying to do it yourself and getting discouraged or stuck and you're searching YouTube for a solution, that's it right there is, is um, you're gonna have this unit that's still in there. I'm not exactly sure what it would be called, but basically it's there for a, like a spindle um, and it holds the, uh, the oil filter in place. So I've already tested this. It goes right in there just like that. And be sure to lubricate it uh, before you put it in there. And then it also comes with a new gasket and don't over tighten it, obviously. And if you're watching this, you probably already know it goes in the oil filter housing back there, which I'll lubricate. I also bought one of these wonderful drain pans. Um, it's got a, a uh, breather on it and you just drain right into it, lock it up, and take it to your local parts store and they'll dispose of the oil. This is basically all I'm using right here is uh, some knee pads. You need a 13 millimeter socket with, uh, to remove this drain plug. That's all I used was just that right there. That came off beautifully. And then I went to the dealership told them I had a high mileage car and I was hearing some some noises in the engine and they suggested zero W30. So the car uh, labels, everything suggests the uh, five W30, but a uh, dealership actually showed me a manufacturer update for this vehicle for this year, 2003, uh, the R50, basically all the R50s, that zero W30 offers better protection at startup. So to use that and then, um, so it's five quarts. I bought a sixth one of 0W30, and any oil filter from your local parts place will do it. That wrench, the oil filter wrench that I'm pointing at, uh, useless in this application. And um, you see a uh, horn that I pulled out I'm working on, and you just need some jack stands. So really, you can do this yourself at home. Um, I watched a video, a guy did this without any trouble. Uh, took off the oil filter, replaced it here on the engine, lubricated it and everything, and put it back in, and then did the oil. No big deal. Uh, this one's a old, neglected R R50, so it needs lots of love. Um, you can see it's in various state of disrepair at the moment. I'll have this all buttoned up today. But uh, five quarts of W zero W30, uh, a new oil filter, and some elbow grease, and you'll have it all done. So that's it, guys. Enjoy it. I hope uh, you do it yourselfers at home or having good luck, and uh, hope this helps.